Kitty Hawk, 1903. The success of the Wright brothers put America at the leading edge of aviation. While the Europeans pulled ahead during World War I, that edge was recaptured and maintained by the NACA, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. For 75 years, the NACA NASA team has continued to fulfill this mission, to supervise and direct the scientific study of problems and solutions of flight, both inside and outside the cockpit. Dramatic advancements have been made in reducing drag and increasing speed. For instance, in 1947, while piloting the X-1, Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier for the first time. And the X-5 proved the variable sweep wing could fly. The X-15, tested from 1958 to 1968, was the first aircraft to fly 67 miles high on the fringes of space. Reaching 4,500 miles per hour, it came back to an aerodynamically controlled land. Inside the cockpit, control panels, once a myriad of dials, are being consolidated into easy-to-read monitors, enabling pilots to fly better and safer. Also helping the pilot are flight simulations. For a while, the only way to get the feel of an aircraft was to fly it. Flight simulations show how an aircraft will perform without leaving the ground. Together with wind tunnel testing and computational fluid dynamics, engineers and pilots have the best information possible before actual flight tests. Aeronautical improvements like these have led NASA to a blending of air and space. Case in point, the lifting body concept. Half spacecraft, half aircraft. A lifting body achieves aerodynamic lift from the shape of its body alone. Lifting bodies were precursors to NASA's successful space shuttle. And we have touchdown, nose gear coming down. Flight experience from many programs has led to the planned X-30, also known as the National Aerospace Plane. This research vehicle will be a true air-to-space machine, taking off like an air-breathing aircraft and accelerating to 17,500 miles per hour into low Earth orbit. NASA's world-class aeronautics program. 75 years of continued achievement in air and space.